Hi everybody, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today we're going to take a look at how to balance out your camera with a fluid head. Now, here I have a setup uh, Liebeck RH25 fluid head with an EX1, and I haven't put any accessories on it. The only thing I have on here is a battery. So we're going to set this up in this configuration, and then we'll get a little fancier and see how things change. The main thing you want to do when you set up your uh, camera to your fluid head is build it the way you're actually going to use it. Because keep in mind, everything that you add on to the camera is going to affect the weight distribution. So first thing I'd like to do is just get a sense of where center or balance point on this camera setup is. So I'm going to take it off the fluid head. And I just let the camera hang off my thumb. And I think I pretty much found it here. Yep, it goes back a little bit. So I'd say this is pretty much it. So if I take, were to draw an imaginary line from my thumb down through the center of the camera, let's say where the gain switches are is going to be my measure of center for the camera. So I'm going to put it onto my fluid head, pretty much center it. I'm going to lock it down. And now I'm going to unlock the tilt, and I'm going to let go camera isn't moving, so I'd say we pretty much hit the center point here. That's moving a little bit, so let's move it forward just a hair. And again, depending on the weight you have on your camera, always keep your hand close to the panhandle in case it starts to move. Okay, we're really not moving at all here, so I'd say we pretty much hit the center point on the camera. So the next thing we want to do is we want to engage the counterbalance. What the counterbalance is doing is exactly that. It, as I tilt forward, for example, and the weight starts to go forward on the fluid head, the counterbalance is going to counteract that force. You see if I let go, it's tilting down on its own. So in the back, I have a counterbalance dial, and I'm going to turn it clockwise. As I turn that clockwise, it's going to progressively add more and more counterbalance. So I let go. The idea of your counterbalance is that you want to have it set in such a way that when you let go, it pretty, the camera doesn't move. I'm going to add me half a turn and see where we are here. OK, that's looking great. The idea here is that now, as you tilt down, you're not fighting the weight of the camera. The springs are working with you to counteract that. So when you bring your camera back up, you're not fighting the weight of the camera. Now obviously, on a little setup like this with a six pound camera, that's not a big issue. Where it can become an issue for you is if you're doing really tight shots and you're doing very slow movements then you can start to see that kind of thing on the screen if it's not set up properly. Obviously, the more weight or the heavier the camera setup is, the more this becomes an issue. So now that we have that all set up, we're pretty much good to go. I'm going to build a little bigger setup on here. Let's check that out. So we're back with a built camera, and you, as you can see, I've added a matte box and a follow focus, and we have a 15 millimeter uh, rod system attached to the camera to hold all those accessories. So now that I've added things towards the front of the camera, uh, we would expect to see the balance point towards the front. And on the bottom here, we have a 3816 and a quarter 20 uh, tie down, and it sits in a track that allows it to travel back and forth. But if I check my balance point, you're going to see that it's shifted from here up to about here. Well, that 3816 just about makes it, but not quite. But luckily, on the plate with our fluid head, we have a tie down that will travel back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the rod holder, uh, move it back and forth, and we'll find a good point, and then we'll try balancing out the camera. Now we have the uh, camera plate attached, and I've put it uh, about centered to where I think balance point will be. So we're going to go ahead and slide it onto the fluid head, and I'm going to eyeball it and tie it down over here. Over here, there's a little tie down right here, that, and that controls my back and forth movement. So I'm going to center it. 
I'm going to unlock my tilt, and I am front heavy. So we're going to unlock, bring it back. I'll try it again. Oop, now we're the other way. So about halfway between the two. Just crawling forward at just a hair. I'd say we pretty much got it. Now we've got a lot of front weight, but we're counterbalancing it with the location of our plate here. But you'll notice if I let go of the panhandle, we got a considerable more weight as we tilt. So I'm going to increase my counterbalance. And let's give it a try. All right, well, I've got to add a little more into there. And this is a progressive thing. You do it one turn at a time. And I'm almost at nine pounds on this camera build, uh, which is fine for this because the head itself will take 11 pounds up to 13 pounds and the counterbalance is up to 11. So just a hair more, I'm gonna dial it in a little bit. And there we go, we're all set to shoot. So no matter what the build of your camera or the size or the weight, keep these rules in mind and you'll have a perfectly balanced uh, camera setup ready to go for operation. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.